I promised dirty ones, I promised messy ones, and man, I delivered. Hi everybody, my name is Mark Gill, this is Mark's on the Grill. Hey, so listen, uh, we're gonna have some fun tonight. I've never made this sandwich before, but I made it in my head earlier, and it was so good. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. Um, a little while ago, we did a, 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 a video for ribs, three, two, one ribs. Go back on Facebook or, or um, uh, YouTube, you're gonna find that, all right? Uh, a really cool way to make ribs, foolproof. Uh, if you wrap them, they're like fall off the bone. If you don't wrap them, they got a little bit of a chew to it. It's a, it's a fun way to do it. But when you do this, uh, again, have a look at the video, but make a couple of extra racks of ribs if you can, because they're really great to either leave in the fridge for you know a little while, or freeze them up and then when it comes time to do what we want to do tonight then it's not like a whole thing where you're gonna spend six or seven or eight hours making a bunch of ribs just to make a sandwich you know kind of a mental thing and instead you can like take them out thaw them sauce the bejeebus out of them throw them in that smoker bring them back to life and then you know you're, you're making these incredible sandwiches out of these really like like holy moly good ribs so come here for a second all right let me tell you the machines that we're gonna use tonight um, we're gonna use our Blackstone this is the 22 inch one. This is like such a great size for traveling. When we go camping, that's with us always. And we're also gonna use, so like I said, nobody's gonna go and spend six or eight hours making ribs just to make a sandwich, but you will reheat them. Get the bubble, get the bubble up top. Look what we did. Oh, come on, man, you're missing it, look at that. Oh. Grab those ribs, we just sauced them up, we threw them in there, and then uh, uh, a little mac and cheese now. I cheated a little on the mac and cheese. I got it frozen and reheated it, but put it in the smoker, all marks on the grill. What's that? Oh, I doctored it, semi-homemade, right? See these grill mats? Listen, a lot of people use these grill mats for, well, grilling. Uh, I love it on the smoker because none of that drips down and makes me have to clean that nonsense underneath. That drives me back crazy. So, I'm going to grab this. <laughs> and, oh, I like that there's a bit of char. Okay, let's walk that over. Put the sauce on there. Here we go. Look at that. Look at the bubble. Appreciate the bubble. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what we want to do, you guys, is get the ribs out of there. They're kind of in the cleanest way possible. So, how do we want to do it, honey? Start pulling. All right. Oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's how we're going to do it. Now, you have a choice here. You can either, uh, with coleslaw, put them on now if you like coleslaw. Uh, you can add it to it later, put it on the side. Uh, we're gonna jazz one up here, but I mean, if you're here, you're here, man. Uh, this is uh, gonna crisp up uh, on the grill when we flip it over. It's gonna give you like that little bacon twang, which I love. So let me go ahead now with this. Oh yeah, so we're gonna take that. Okay, 
Well, that's the first one. All right, mm -hmm. so now we've got that going. So come on over here. This is where having a flat top is fun. Watch this, guys. Here you go, ready? So what I want to do here is with that cheese, and you want to kind of do this in one good motion so you don't lose it all. Ready? Uh -huh. There we go. I want that cheese to create a little bit of a crust. So again, we've got that little extra crispy, crunchy surprise when you bite into it. Ready? And oh. So, when you said you need this grill, if you want to make sandwiches like this, I absolutely agree you need this grill. All right, here we go. There we go. No cheese on there. That's what I'm looking for. So that one. Oh, you know what? We need to jazz this guy up then. So that's the one I want to do that with. So here is a little bit of coleslaw right there. This is kind of the, the, the optional fun one if you want to do this. <laughs> oh, I can feel that cheese, man. That is going to be so nice. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's a good one. What's that? That is a good one. That's going to go right there. Like that. Oh, look at that. You can see it. See that cheese right there. Right there. Oh. Okay, I'm going to flip this over just so you see what's happening. Look at that. That's the crunchy surprise that everybody's uh, that everybody's going to get in there. Oh, look at that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so I think that goes on this way. There we go. And for this one here, we got the coleslaw. And um, uh, you can buy balsamic reductions. Uh, they're fantastic, or take a little time and make one yourself. Instead of barbecue sauce, let's go ahead and give it a light dusting of that. There we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? I, I promised dirty ones, I promised messy ones, and man, I delivered. <laughs> so like I said, use that 3 two, one method to make some of the best ribs ever. Check out that video online. And then uh, make a couple of extra racks if you can. Freeze them, and then when it comes time, hit them with a bit of sauce, throw them in that smoker, and then you fresh make some mac and cheese, or you can cheat a little bit like I did and do that store-bought bit. And then when it comes time to put this sandwich together, throw everything on the Blackstone, get the outside nice and crispy with that ghee. Here we go, you ready? Come on guys, you know what that tastes like. You know how good that is, right? Try this, it's so good. Bye guys, see you next time.